All right, welcome to another home bar edition of, what are we again? Oh yeah, that Power of Bourbon Power channel. Of Bourbon. The two of us. Um, Just the two of us. Unsupervised. Oh, sorry. It's, no. it's crazy. It's that time of the year, I guess. It comes around just a few times a year. Yeah, just a few times. Uh, where Chuck has to buy a bottle because it's got a corn plant on it. And really that's what started his love for this series. I mean, this is the best bottle in bourbon. Fair enough. I am biased. Yes. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's laser etched. It is kind of cool how they do those. So yeah, <clears throat> so this is discovery number nine out of Bonestown <laughs> Bourbon Company. <laughs> and that'll be edited out. <laughs> You guys got that, right? <laughs> so yeah, discovery number nine out of Bardstown. Uh, the great thing that Bardstown does very well is on the label, they post every uh, bit of information about where they source from. We're a fan of transparency on this channel. Yeah. And Bardstown does it really, really well. Yeah. So we they give you the full breakdown of the mash bills, ages, states of distillation, uh, for the whiskeys that go into this blend. Yeah, I, we really do not care. <clears throat> If you source, if you blend, we just want to know where's it just from, tells. information about it, everything like that. So we can like actually, I don't know, go visit some of these distilleries too if we really like what's in there and yeah, just know right. what it is. Uh, so yeah, so let's pop this bad boy open. Oh, that was weak. Yeah. Fix the corks. Fix the that corks. is the only downside we have. So this one, as opposed to the last two that we're throwing in a mix of rye, this one is a blend of straight bourbons. So, well, and a corn whiskey. And a corn whiskey, yeah. Out of Ontario. So we got a little Georgia, Kentucky, Tennessee, and Canadian. Oops, a little spillage. Oh, wow. wow. Cheers. So I'm gonna say it, a little bit of that Tennessee comes through on the nose, but. Oh, that's why it smells so good though. Yeah, but it's good, it's delightful. It gives you that, it just, and and you'll, you'll see this in other, um, you know, they don't they add, don't add much of it. And uh, I see some other blenders using like just small amounts of, you know, aged Tennessee. So this is only, let's see, 19%. So that's a little bit, uh, bit of a 17 year Tennessee. I got a little bit of like a baked cornmeal yeah. right off the nose, but this is, this is also a neck pour. It's, it's when you, somebody puts on the appropriate amount of cologne, it's not like a high school kid dousing the Axe body spray everywhere. It's just enough to let you know it's there and it's a, it, it does add for a very delightful mm -hmm. aroma. It's like oak, that is oak dark cherry with some chocolate yeah. on the nose. That dark cocoa. That's nice. Yeah. Really nice. All right, let's try this. Wow. Does not match the nose at all. Kind of left me there to the start of the palate. I need a second sip. It first sip comes off very sweet. Yeah, it's like a, a single sweet note mm -hmm. on the front of that of that palette. You get a little bit of that oak in the back of the palette, and then it just transitions to a fiery finish. Yeah. Like a cinnamon fiery finish. Yeah. So not overly complex, I will say. Boy, that finish lasts forever, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a little bit more of that baked, uh, what I was calling like a baked corn muffin in the back of the palate. Yeah. There's a lot more that's going on on the nose and on the finish. The palate, it just kind of disappears for a little bit. You get the sweet, goes away, and then it comes all back in the finish with the oak, the spice, so, it's not bad. I don't know if it's $135 good. 
Yeah, I liked. I really liked eight. Eight uh, number eight was warming up and will be in our best of whiskey uh, for 2022. So maybe before this video is actually out. But we'll see. Who knows? Depends on when TJ wants to release it. Um, I like the nose. The nose is probably the highlight for me. Yeah. Nose and finish. I think the palate just takes a step back. Um, I think very good, but I think you have some quite, yeah, Brian would be questioning the price strongly. Yeah. This is just always a buy for me because I bought all nine of them. Yeah. Well, and to be fair, uh, <clears throat> whatever year they first put in the Dickel, everybody complained because it was overpowering Dickel all the way through. This, you really only get the Dickel notes on the nose, and it's like it does not show up on the palate or the finish. I think. I bet most people don't even pick up the, the Dickel yeah. on the nose, to be honest. TJ's Tennessee meter is like, yep. you know, it only he only needs five parts per million, and the sensitivity <laughs> is quite. Kind of like you with smoke and peat. Yeah, if you put peat in anything, no thanks. But yeah, no, I think it's it's good. Uh, I once knew a guy named Pete. He was pretty cool. Oh. I don't know Pete. Awkward science. Thank you. We'll edit that out. Yeah. But yeah, uh, I think it's good. It. I think it's. Uh, it, it goes in. If if you really like the Discovery series, you're not going to be disappointed. Um, but if you haven't bought a Discovery series and you've been seeing good reviews on them and you're like, oh, I'm going to jump in and this is the one. I don't know if I can say that nine is the one you should jump in on. Uh, but you're not going to be disappointed if you you get it. I won't be buying a bottle, though. Personally, it's not good enough to have well, a jump. Yeah, I think that's the... It's a, it's a bar pour. Yeah. Um, if you're obviously a bar sound fan, you're going to buy it anyway, regardless of this review. Um, not, I, th I think I'm going to lean towards liking eight more than this one, but, um, also probably need to spend a little bit more time with them. Yep. So I think that's our good, not great bar pour. Brian will definitely be a friend pour. Yes. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, with that, thanks for watching once again and cheers. Stay neat.